In this video, I'll be comparing Olama and LM Studio, two popular platforms for running large language models locally. Both empower you to use AI offline, but they are built for different user needs. I'll explain what each tool does best, who benefits most, and which one fits your style. So first, I'll go over what they do and who they are for. So first, Olama is a command line based open source tool for developers and power users comfortable with the terminal. It's lightweight, flexible, and allows scripting and integration through its REST API, making it ideal for workflows that blend AI with automation or back-end code. Then LM Studio is a graphical application with a built-in chat interface, model discovery, and one-click server features. It's tailor-made for beginners and non-technical users who want a plug-and-play local AI experience without messing with terminal commands. Now go over the key features in a bit more depth. So first, Olam has a command line interface with developer scripting and custom workflows. It supports an open AI compatible API server for easy integration, and it's fully open source, lightweight, and extensible. Then Atom Studio has a polished GUI with drag and drop model downloading. It has an integrated model library, chat interface, and GPU offload control, and it runs entirely locally, beginner friendly, and intuitive. So the developer experience and workflow with these, with Olama, it feels like you are scripting your AI, you use terminal commands to pull models and can automate behaviors with model files, and it's best for developers integrating LLMs into apps or building AI augmented workflows. LM Studio feels like a desktop app that just works. Install search models with a GUI and click to download and chat immediately. It's perfect for experimenting, prototyping, or casual prompt testing, no COI required. So which one should you choose? First, I would go with Olama if you are comfortable working in the terminal, if you want flexibility, scripting, or custom integrations, and if you prefer open source tools and developer workflows, I would also pick Olama. Then I would go with LM Studio if you prefer a GUI and minimal setup, if you want to browse, load, and chat with models visually, and if you need easy GPU offload and model discovery without CLI hassles, I would also go with LM Studio. So that concludes this comparison of Olama versus LM Studio. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.